Eastern New Mexico University has started drafting plans to rebuild the Roosevelt Science Center. This renovation is coming through the GEO bond or bond C uh, that will be on the ballot in November. And we've, this is a two part. We've already had the first part uh, two years ago in that election, which was approved, which provided $8 million uh, for the renovation. This time around is another $8 million uh, if it passes. Uh, so that will give us a total of 16 million. And then there's the requirement of a million dollar match from the university. So there'll be a total right now of $17 million. The current proposal is to largely build the new building adja somewhat adjacent to the current one. So we would not have to move uh, during the renovation. Next summer probably is when uh, construction would start, or at least groundbreaking. Currently, we don't have all the bells and whistles we would like. And so we're hoping to get the classrooms fully designed and equipped as 21st century classrooms. So for example, in this room, we've got pillars which are in the middle of the classroom, and that's because they're structural, uh, and we can't take them out without the risk of the building falling down, uh, which obviously impedes the ability of the professor and the students to engage with one another during classes. Uh, even the classes that don't have pillars in the middle of them were not really designed as classrooms. And so with this intentional design of an educational facility, uh, the classroom space will be better designed as such and updated. So we're also trying to anticipate where things are going uh, for the next 30 odd years so that the, the uh, space can adapt as everything else adapts. And then with improved lab space, we can also uh, provide students with enhanced opportunities. We already engage a lot of our students in research, in collaboration with graduate students and the faculty, but having up more up-to-date lab spaces and so on as well will benefit the students through those hands-on experiences, seeing what a more modern day lab is uh, designed like. So. The Science Center not only houses classrooms and laboratories, but also has two museums that will be part of the renovations. We would like to expand the museums, uh, both the Gennaro live exhibit downstairs that most people are familiar with, as well as the Miles Mineral Museum. And we also have the Natural History Collection, uh, up on the th which is currently on the third floor. It was never designed as a museum, and so we're hoping to get that better designed as a natural history museum. Uh, with appropriate fire suppression, storage, lighting, and all that, uh, climate control, and all that kind of stuff. The original purpose of the building was a men's dorm, later turned Science Center. The new building will be able to better serve students. For News to New Mexico, I'm Claire Moots.